All right, how's it going today, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. Uh, excuse me if I'm doing this a lot with my hands. It's pretty darn buggy out here, and we're losing daylight. But we thought we'd come out, and obviously it's overgrown, so we got to do a little bit of cleaning. Get some of this brush cleaned out, and we're going to cook up a dinner. And I also um, have been slacking, like usual, on my videos. So I wanted to do an update video on the, the giveaway for the 3,000 subscriber giveaway. Once again, thanks to everybody that has subscribed. I plan on doing a lot more giveaways here in the near future. Uh, I was able to team up with a couple of awesome companies to go ahead and give three lucky winners some really cool gear. So stay tuned till the end of the video and I will go ahead and announce those winners. But like I said, we're just going to do a little bit of grub. I had this pretty cool idea. We were comp uh, camping with a a couple friends and we were able to experience some authentic uh, like Caribbean cuisine, African cuisine. Um, so I kind of doing a spin-off on that. This is something that you can make uh, completely vegan if that's something that you are into. All you die-hard vegans out there. Um, but not this guy. Um, but the cool thing about this is that it needs zero refrigeration. So it's all pretty fresh food. And then we're going to add some uh, tuna to kind of spice things up. It's going to be kind of like a gourmet hobo dinner, if that makes any sense. Alright, so also I wanted to show you um, some pretty cool gear. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, if you don't, go over to OTB underscore bushcraft to check some of this stuff out. Sorry, I'm kind of winded. Just like cleaned out this whole area, so get my water bottle out of the way but some really cool um, pieces of kit that I've got in here God, I'm covered in these little stickums here so these uh, new pieces of gear that I've been playing around with is from the company Uberleben if I'm pronouncing it right so as I said I did uh, pay for one of these and they sent me this other one uh, just from the kindness of their heart. But this is the Uber Laban and this is the Hexa 6 inch ferro rod on fire steel. And this thing's a beast. An absolute beast here. And then also their Tinder Quick, which is a bellows with uh, this like waxed it's almost like a jute twine um, real heavy duty uh, but it's pretty handy so I'll go ahead and get a couple shots of this and show you what it looks like in action alright so as I said the cool thing about this is you just take this uh, tinder quick with bellows and just rough it up just go ahead and set that down and then take your fire steel, set that right there. Look at that. And that'll burn like a candle for quite some time. And then when you need to snuff it out, all you do, I mean, look at that. That sucker burns and burns and burns, and when it's time to snuff it out, you just whoop. Ta da! I think that's pretty darn awesome. And then, as I said, the Hexa 6 comes with its own little uh, ferro rod scraper, bottle cap opener, and little measuring device. But this thing works pretty good if you don't have a knife on you. shoot almost started that wet moss on fire so way to go uber la ben hopefully I'm pronouncing it right Whew. it's actually starting to warm up a little bit as the Sun goes down it was pretty cool today but out walking around clearing this stuff out got me sweating um, but I was able to dig out the old little fire pit we got down here and got a little grate to go on top I got to make some small uh, some small sticks for some tinder um, get some kindling going See if we can't get a fire started so we can prep this meal. 
Let's go. So, I brought a bag of goodies here. We have a bunch of aluminum foil, some oil, a bag of spices. It's a uh, Thyme, coriander, turmeric, paprika, and garlic salt. Learned this from a uh, Caribbean man named Tony from Jamaica. And this can be a vegan meal, but we're not going to make it vegan. We're going to make a fancy hobo dinner. Slab of red cabbage, red onion, and some spuds. And we'll throw some tuna in there. It should be good. So what we're gonna do a little catch all. Use my red cabbage as a cutting board. That's pretty. Some oil. Coconut oil mixed with a little bit of olive oil.
What do you think about that? Sounds good to me. Pretty easy too. All that stuff cooks. I got a couple packs of tuna. You can just rip open, dump in there, stir it up. Buon appetit. Should be tasty. Huh? Now we just need a nice cold bed. Alright, so we're out here. Um, as you saw, we threw everything in the aluminum foil. It's been on there for about 30 or 40 minutes. We never set a timer or anything like that. Just kind of been listening to it sizzle. As you can see, it is now dark. Luckily, we brought a pretty good video light. So hopefully it helps you guys see this a little bit better without just flashlights. So we're going to go ahead and get this off and show you what we're working with here. Giant chopsticks here. Now we're not, sh we don't remember which side's up or down, but uh, so you might see cabbage or you might see potatoes or onions and stuff, but uh, hopefully it's not burnt. So, how's that look? Does that help? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and cut this bad boy open. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm just so glad it's not burnt. Oh man. I'm gonna say that that looks absolutely perfect. I agree. Let's go ahead and see what, stir it up a little bit. Okay. That looks pretty awesome. So. Now, I'm going to grab some, some tuna. You can use whatever tuna you want. We've got some yellowfin tuna here. So we're going to go ahead, throw that in there. Oh man, this has sun-dried tomatoes in it too. I didn't even realize that. That would go good with the rest yeah. of the And then we have some hickory smoked. I literally just raided my cabinets and these are what sounded good. I bet Danny agrees here. And the good thing is, is no refrigeration, no refrigeration or cooler needed technically. If you think about it, so if you wanted to hike this in, totally could. And for all you health conscious people out there, and all the vegans, they can uh, not use the tuna. This would be really good with like carrots too if you're feeding a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Or some like asparagus or anything green. Now the taste test. Alright, so I'll cut it there and then I gotta actually see if I have. Alright, so actually the only two uh, pieces of silverware I brought here is this little Stanley Pack spatula, which I'll let Danny use that, and then a little wooden spoon. Let's get a little bit of everything some tuna, there's a piece of onion, and some cabbage. I'm gonna shut my light off so I don't blind the camera. Okay. It's a lot of different flavors, but man, I think it's pretty good overall. 
Was it coriander or cumin? No, I can't remember. I think it might have been cumin. It's good. Sure is different, but it's good. Better than spoiled rice and rat meat. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. All right. Shut that off so I don't blind you. Uh, I think that's going to do it for this video. I did make a guarantee that on my next video I was going to let the lucky winners of the giveaway uh, know who they are. So I'll put those three winners down in the description box below. Um, really cool gear, some Hidden Woodsman gear and a couple other things. Um, so if you haven't, you got um, probably a couple weeks to be to send me an email over on the about section um, and I will get that stuff sent to you as soon as I can so this is Matt with outside the box thanks for stopping by and checking out this video leave a like down below don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification and we will see you next time take care <laughs>